Jen here with an unboxing for you of the April 2018 Unicorn Crate. Um, I don't remember what exactly the theme was. I know that it had to do with um, mythology. And I think I know what the book is, but let's unbox this. So the theme was Northern Myths. And it had a really cool card to go with it. <clears throat> so, actually, I don't think the book is what I thought the book was. Which is even more interesting. So, let's take a look at the items here. There is a, excuse me, a Thor hammer keychain um, from Tech Plus Gifts. So, that's sort of fun. There was a, or there is a, little uh, book plates that say from the library of. So these are unicorn book plates for your home library. It works best with ballpoint pen or pencil. These were lovingly drawn by um, the owner Naomi's mom. And she does pet portraits and the occasional mystical creature at Torin Jude, or Torin, yeah, Torin Judd hyphen fineart.com. Very cute, actually. So there's always, in the unicorn crate, there's always a unicorn themed item. There is a Mead of Valhalla Blackberry Honey and Vanilla Flavored Lip Balm, which has shea, coconut oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, flavor oil, and beeswax, which means I can use it because oftentimes people put almond oil and stuff, and I have a tree nut allergy, so I avoid almond oil and sweet almond oil. So this is by um, inspired by Magnus Chase, and it's by Cedar Chest Press on Etsy. So looking forward to using that. There's also a pin which has a Celtic knock on it. It is a Celtic shield button pin with art by Arca D. Not sure. Printed by Unicorn Crate. There is a candle, a two ounce candle by Half Oak Candles um, that says Shield Maiden of Rohan. Um, inspired by Lord of the Rings. And it's white. It has a very uh, clean, it almost smells like a waterfall to me. Like that clean, um, watery smell, I guess. So I will be burning that for spring, summer. It's still really cold here. Oh, well, today it's 50, but we've had like snow flurries during the week and stuff, so it still doesn't really feel like spring. And, go. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't buy this because I have been wanting this. Um, I did see that it was going to have a second book in here. So this is Neil Gaiman's Norse Mythology. Neil Gaiman is kind of hit or miss for me. Like, I didn't really like the Graveyard book. Um, but I love uh, Coraline, which I think is by Neil Gaiman. I'm, drawn, I'm all of a sudden second guessing myself that it might not be. But I love Stardust, which definitely is Neil Gaiman. Um, so I have been wanting to read this and I have it in my Amazon cart and I almost bought it today because I was ordering some other things, but I didn't because I was like, oh, what if it's in the box and my box is being delivered today? Da -da -da -da. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I don't even think that's on the list. I think that's just like an extra. Um, this is really cute. What is this? This looks like a, um, like a family tree, done in a very cool way. Um, let me see if I missed something. Okay, it's the, I actually don't know how to say it, but I've seen the word before. A, a Yggdrasil 5x7 print, and it's from an Etsy shop, so that's very cute as well. And that is from woodglaforest.etsy.com, which that will be, all that stuff will be in the link, so sorry if I'm butchering shop names. Um, here is the unicorn crate comes, the book always comes in a nice bag. So let's do that. Always comes in a cute little unicorn crate bag. Uh, it has a signed book plate and a letter. So, um, actually let's look at what the book is. Beyond a dark and short. I've seen this book floating around and this isn't the book that I thought it was. Her only hope is her greatest enemy. Truth be told, I actually thought the book was going to be that Viking in the Sky book. So now I'm kind of intrigued. On the back it has a little excerpt. It says, in all the world there are only two strong enough. One born for it, 
the other through great sacrifice. The vision shifted to show myself and the Northmen I currently held prisoner. Only your alliance can save us all. No, I thought. No, I cannot join forces with my enemy. You must. A war is coming. Will you fight it, Kiara of Midday? I'm pronouncing it Kiara because I have a friend and that's how you pronounce her name and the only difference is the H. So I don't know. It could be Ciara. The ancient land of Aaron is mirrored in war. Kiara, pr princess of Mead, can barely remember a time when Northmen weren't plumbing, plundering the shores of her divided homeland. With her intimidating ability to control her enemies' minds and actions, Kiara has managed to keep her people safe. But lately, a mysterious crow has been appearing to Kiara, whispering warnings of an even darker threat. Although her clansmen dismiss her visions as superstition, Kiara fears this coming evil will destroy not just Aaron, not sure if I'm saying that right, but the entire world. It isn't until Kiara captures Leaf, a young Northman leader, during his failed siege of Mead that she discovers she's not the only one who has these prophetic visions. Leaf is Kiara's enemy, but together they may be the only ones who can save the world, and as battle grows closer, their alliance, born out of necessity, starts to become something more. With evil rising around them, they must do what it takes to defend the land they love, even if it means making the greatest sacrifice of all. So Jessica Leake is the author of the adult novels Arcana, or Arcana, and The Order of the Eternal Sun, both with Sky Horse. She worked for years as a psychotherapist, but even though she loved her clients, she couldn't stop writing. She lives in South Carolina with her husband, four young children, lots of chickens, and two dogs who keep everyone in line. Beyond the Dark and Shore is her YA debut. Um, I don't recall if this is a standalone or not. Um, pretty cool because I kind of like I heard that the other book was kind of violent and if you follow me on this channel you know how I feel about you know overly or unnecessarily violent things um so that's kind of exciting I'm not sure if that's violent or not it has a cool cover and it sounds interesting um I'll probably wait before I read it to hear back from people I'm kind of on the fence about fantasy-ish stuff lately I'm not really feeling it um Beyond a Dark and Shore was written for my love for Ireland and in all its fascinating legends and history uh like a lot of Irish here I'm both Irish and Northern Irish and Scottish and Welsh and English and then a bunch of other things um from the Tuatha de Danann, the first men of Ireland who were once worshipped as gods to more frightening beings like the Eek Usix sorry it's also in script not like I can't read script I can but like it's in a person's handwriting which makes it a little bit more difficult for me sometimes um, a water spirit horse like a kelpie, and sloth, a spirit of the restless dead. In the 11th century, when beyond takes place, the country had not been Christian long, and the legendary creatures of the old world were still respected and feared. The many kingdoms of Ireland often competed for control over resources and land until the country was often at war with itself. At the same time, the Vikings came and brought their own beliefs and religion to the land, intermarrying the people even as they still raided its shores, adding to the strife. Which makes me wonder... I be part Viking? I'd really like to get one of those genealogy things for my birthday, which is next week. Well, I don't know when I'm posting this video, so April 27th. I'm probably posting this video on or around my birthday. So I'd really like to get one of those ancestry things, because I'm acquiring minds want to know. Set amongst this inherent conflict, I wanted to see what would happen to a cultic warrior princess who finds herself forced to join with the enemy who has not only caused such pain and strife to her country, but also to her personally. Okay, this book moving up the TBR list because it's Irish and that's very dear to me. Um, so maybe reading this sooner than I thought. The result is a story filled with fierce battles, terrifying monsters and men of legend and forbidden romance and hope, I hope you'll enjoy reading about Kiara and Leaf as much as I love writing them. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, now I'm really excited because I'm super curious about all of this. Um, yeah. So that's super fun. I'm glad the book isn't what I thought it was, which oftentimes I'm not happy the book isn't what I thought it was. So this is the April 2018 Unicorn Crate. The theme was Northern Myths and the Meanwhile Happy Reading. Happy.